is the news and talk of Texas. Now, it's the Rick Roberts Show on 820 AM, 99.5 FM, HD2, News Talk 820, WBAP. Well, I know there's got to be a few hundred million more like me just trying to keep it free. Yeah. Rick Roberts starts. Rick Roberts starts right, right now. now. All right, welcome 304 the time. All right, well, I've upset a couple of school teachers. <laughs> People are predisposed to hear what they want to hear. Now, I, I think uh, public schools are top heavy uh, as the liaisons to federal government. Oh, a school superintendent makes what, 125, 150,000, depending on where they are. Uh, compare that with teacher salaries. Uh, about 36000 to 50000 if you're in a huge area. Um, it doesn't make much sense, does it? But it's kind of the same way it is in every business. Um, like I said, I just wouldn't put my kid in public schools. That's not a dig on school teachers. It's a dig on the federal government trying to socialize and indoctrinate my kids. I wouldn't have it. Wouldn't do it. And this uh, questionnaire is a good example. It's not the first time. I've been a talk uh, radio host and radio and television for over 25 years. I've seen this at least 20, 30 times. And the school, oh, well, we didn't know. We didn't know. Well, you're making 150 grand a year. You should know as a superintendent. Well, it was a first-year teacher. Okay, well, it was a first-year teacher. She didn't know. Um, give her an assistant for a while or him. No, until they, uh, you know, they can feel the ropes. Trust me. I, I know I'll, I'll tell you what it is. What really got me going on public education was outcome based education because my daughter was my daughter statistically girls, uh, not as much anymore, but then girls did very poorly in math and science. So I would take time. She would come home. We kind of made a thing of it. You know, dad and daughter sitting at the kitchen table. You get your hot chocolate. I'll get my coffee. Let's do homework. All right. And I was lucky enough and blessed enough to have that kind of time. And the first time I was made aware of outcome-based education, I don't know, it was like Timmy and Johnny and Susie all went to get pizza, you know, one of those pizza things. And if he gets two and she gets one and they divide the third one, you know, that kind of thing. And my daughter worked and worked and worked on this. And, you know, she was almost in tears. And I said, okay, well, let's figure this out together. So we worked on it for about an hour. And I said, well, Punkin, I think there's probably a misprint in the workbook or, you know, something. You get dressed, get ready for bed, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take a look at it. I sat there for three hours looking at this stupid thing. And there was no answer that could be taken from this, uh, the information given. So the next day I called the school. Oh, Mr. Roberts, you know, this is part of the new outcome-based education. Excuse me? Well, there is no wrong answer. There is no right answer. We just want the child to enjoy the journey of learning in their mind. Um, they had to do some roofing work because I went through it. Uh, you're not here to indoctrinate my kid or socialize him. Um, you know, I, I set aside time trying to give her what she needs um, so she feel, and you know, it worked. She graduated with over a 4.0 from the university, um, and did very, very well scholarships out the wazoo. And she, to this day is very, very anal in a good way about studies. She learned how to learn. And that was the primary thing, but this outcome based education, well, just like that one thing, that audio I played for you, that was the new common core. You know, it's a bunch of free to be you and me, hug a tree idiots, that somehow think they're going to change the dynamics of the world through the public school system. You know, as far as I'm concerned, it's something akin to Hitler's brown shirts. Uh, the government has an agenda, has a, you know, they treat the public schools like a giant social Petri dish, and every goofball agenda makes its way to your kid's classroom. And not because the teacher wants it. Not because the superintendent is, uh, you know, doing what he's supposed to do, although I think they're grossly overpaid for what they do. Um, but that's what the federal government wants. They want people dumbed down. They w don't want people push back uh, to give pushback when they say something. They, they don't want critical thinkers. 
bottom line, they don't want you educated any more than you have to be to graduate. So, no, I, I have nothing good to say about public schools. Uh, the teachers, I'm sorry, you're in the field. Um, like I said, you didn't uh, get into teaching to retire at 40 in Barbados on some beach because it doesn't pay that. What, starting teachers make 35000 a year, 36000 You know, in, in big areas, they can make up to 50000 Nobody, Nobody's getting rich off that. They're doing it because they love to learn and share the love of learning. Unfortunately, there's too much federal government involved. I, 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 no thanks. No, I, the, my kids will get enough of the federal government once they graduate and start working. Um, so, how comfortable am I? They didn't have that question that I wanted on there. Uh, let's go. And by the way, David, did you call uh, Birdwell ISD again? Yes, I did, and I didn't get an answer yet. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. That's all right. You didn't get an answer yet. Not yet. Why are they meeting, they're forming a panel to convene a study to issue a report through the legal department? I'm not going to speculate. Okay. Uh, I mean, it makes it even worse that this was a special needs class. You know, I've worked in those uh, a lot. You know, I've worked beside people that uh, are certified to do such things. Um, and, man, that is tough duty for anybody uh and then to hand a bunch of special needs kids in an emotional uh setting this kind of questionnaire what the well, well, forgive me i don't mean to be ugly but what the hell was she thinking who thought this this would be a good idea I, i'm just curious who thought this would be a good idea all right uh 11 minutes after the hour when we come back your calls and nothing but your calls in the court of public opinion.